Hi, this is Nabi. Let's install the SAP Cloud Connector into Docker. For this purpose, I've prepared a repository here on GitHub. Make sure you have already installed Docker and Git as well. What we want to do is we want to clone this Git repository, but before I do that, let me start Docker here on my Mac, because it takes uh, a few seconds to show up. After this, I'm going to the terminal. I'm creating a folder in which I want to clone. Let's switch into that. Then I enter my git clone command, hit return, and that's it. Now I switch into that folder. And before I continue with building an image based on that Docker file in, the, in my repository right here, I need to wait for Docker right here to start up. OK, done. So let me hit that command, which is docker build dash t, and then I you choose the name SAPCC as the image name, and that's the version, that's the tag that I'm going to use. This is also the version of the SAP Cloud Connector, which is inside that Docker container, uh, inside that Docker image. So let's hit return and wait a few seconds. This might take some time, because it's going to download the SAP Cloud Connector from the web, and also the SAP JVM. And after that, everything will be installed. So this might take a few seconds. Let's wait for that. OK, done. So the Docker image for SAP Cloud Connector has been created successfully. So that means if I would now Docker, if I would enter, hit, uh, enter Docker images. Yep, here it is. I can see that this is the image that we just created. Now we want to create a container. And I can just copy this one right here. So I'm going to um, use the host name uh, MySAPCC. The name of the container will be SAPCC. And it's based on the container that we've just created, which is this one right here. And we're going to start this container as a daemon. So here we go. Let me hit return. That's it. Now, if I would try to access the SAP Cloud Connector right now, it doesn't work, although the Docker container has already started. That's because inside the Docker container, the SAP Cloud Connector still needs some time to start up. So for that reason, we have to wait a few seconds. Let me try again. And one more time. Oh, here we go. So I think this was more than 20 seconds anyway. So the default user and password is administrator with the password manage. Going to use that. Now I'm being asked to change my default password. So I have to enter manage as the current password. And I'm choosing admin, admin as my new password. Let me save that. And don't tell anyone about my password. Now I want to connect this cloud connector to my own private trial account. So I'm going to, cho to choose uh, Europe Road Trial right here. And then I need to enter the sub account. And this sub account you can easily find out from your from your um, uh, uh, cloud cloud platform um, uh, uh, cockpit right here. So. It's either so it's the same, it's either this one or you can get it from the URL right here. So it's the one that ends with trial. I'm going to enter that. And the sub account user is the one that does not have the, the trial in the end. Now, the password, I don't know it to be honest. Let me try to get it from my, from my password manager right here. Here we go. And I'm giving it a description. Yeah. Docker on localhost, maybe something like that. Let me say save. Now it's trying to connect to the to my cloud platform account. Might take a few seconds. Okay, great. Everything looks green, so the connection is good. Now let's check the same thing on the cloud platform cockpit in the cloud platform cockpit by going to the cloud connectors right here looks good connected so that means the connection works now let me go back to my command line interface docker um, 
ts-a. So these are all the containers that I currently have. So this one is my, where is it? This one is my cloud connector that we just created. Now I want to stop it like this. Here we go. And that means if I go back here, it means here it's gone. It's not connected here anymore. And if I would try to access the cloud connector here in the browser directly, it says it's not there anymore. If I want to start back, if, one, if I want to start the the uh, cloud connector um, container, I'm going to say docker start SAP CC. Make sure you, have, you don't have anything else. That's it, because it's going to start as a daemon anyway. Hit return. And here we go it's started. The, con the container has started. However, don't forget that it will take a few seconds until until it shows up here. Uh, I think it's already there. Get a press here. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. So oh, that was fast. So, and this time, of course, I have to use the password admin. Hit return. And here we go. As you can see, um, I didn't have to re-enter the password again. I mean, um, I didn't have to change my initial password again, so that means our settings and everything were stored in here. Okay, so this is it. In the next video tutorials, I'm going to show you how you can configure your cloud connector so that you can do um, principal propagation to your SAP uh, NetWeaver upper backend. And that means you need to handle some certificates as well. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.